urban explorers from the YouTube channel Urbex Castronautica visit the historic La Plata Cemetery in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The cemetery was built in 1886 and is the final resting place of many notable figures. But while wandering through the huge cemetery's 12,000 tombs and vaults, the guys stumble upon a crypt that has been vandalized. Their camera captures something downright chilling. <laughs> Did you see it? No? Well, neither did the guys who filmed it. You see, after posting this video to YouTube, their sharp-eyed viewers were freaked out when they noticed a creepy little pale hand pulling back into an open coffin. Now, it happened so quick that it's hard to see without brightening the footage and analyzing it frame by frame. But when the footage is converted to a negative image, the spooky little hand is a bit easier to see. Now, it's very unlikely that anyone could have crawled into that coffin to fake this. This crypt is very old and unstable, and it would be very dangerous for someone to just climb inside. So did this group of urban explorers accidentally capture proof of the paranormal? Well, as usual, you decide. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, Urbex Castronautica. Trapped. In this next video, a man is taking a short video of a car that he's planning to sell. The vehicle belonged to his sister, who tragically passed away right inside the car over a year and a half ago. After sending the footage to a potential buyer, he gets an alarming message saying he should really check the video closer. Hey man, here's this, uh, here's my sister's car. Just wanted to make this video so you could have a look at it. She still runs good. She's a little dirty. She has a lot of miles on her, but uh, it can clean up nice. Here's the front and a little back. There's some in the back. But I don't know uh, if you're interested, just uh, let me know what you think. Throughout the footage, the faint sound of a woman crying can be heard. The video was shared online by These Dark Adventures and quickly gained nearly 500,000 views. In the video comments, many concerned viewers believe that the voice belongs to the spirit of the man's sister who passed away inside the car and that her soul is still trapped, unable to move on. Motorcycle Mystery in the city of Cagayan de Oro in the Philippines, a motorcycle rider is driving down a busy road that is notorious for being the site of many fatal accidents. He is about to experience something that is truly bizarre. Someone appears to jump right into the motorcycle's path, but when the rider looks back, there's no one there. But it gets even weirder, because the motorcycle rider claims that whoever this was, they didn't appear to have a face, only a strange dark blur. Now many locals believe that the rider saw the ghost of someone who passed away on the dangerous road. But if this wasn't anything supernatural, then just what happened here? Let me know what you think. Open House Ready user slash realtor Sandra is recording a tour of a 1960s bungalow style home to show prospective buyers. Sandra is filming at night in order to showcase the house's interior lighting. But it's starting to get a bit late at the creepy little cottage. And things are about to get weird. Wow, 
Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this beautiful vintage 1962. Wow. It's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this vintage 1963 bungalow. Go ahead, do it again. You're on camera. Open this door. Go ahead, open this door. Open this door like you did the other one. Come on, just move a glass or something. Go ahead, do it again. I'm not scared. The door suddenly swings open on its own and Sandra is spooked, but she gathers her courage and rushes out to see what's going on. A glass of water sitting on top of the fireplace shifts and slowly moves as if it's being pushed by some invisible force. But things get even crazier as a smoke detector suddenly starts to beep before crashing violently to the floor. With that, Sandra has had enough and just gets out of there. But there's also something else that is very creepy in this video. Something that only a few viewers even notice. So again I ask, did you see it? Right before the door moves, a face in the picture right beside Sandra seems to slowly darken. And then the creepy little shadow fades away just as the door swings open. Sandra says that she's experienced several unexplained paranormal events in this home but this was the first time that she finally captured it on camera. We need scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Flicker. Reddit user Cybseb says that his mother is taking care of a young foster child at her home in England. One night, a TV is playing a cartoon in the child's bedroom, but the flickering light from the screen reveals something that the Reddit user and his mom simply can't explain. Something that is downright creepy.
Someone seems to be seated in the chair. A small pale face illuminates in the flashing light from the TV screen. Then the face just disappears. Reddit user Cybseb wonders if his mother's security camera accidentally captured a paranormal presence. But what do you think this is? The Fond du Lac UFO Around 2 a.m., Florissa Bonnelet and her family friends are driving home to Fond du Lac, Saskatchewan, Canada. Suddenly, Florissa spots something very odd in the night sky. It's it looks Not like a, a UFO, right? That's a UFO! Look at this chair. It's just staying right there. Look, it's just above there. Are you recording it? Yeah. <gasps> That's a UFO! You can just see it! <laughs> well, hi, you know. <laughs> Bro, you can just see it. Just keep recording it. It's a little YouTube. It won't take spikes. Everyone is shocked as they witness a strange circular object with flashing lights soaring through the sky. Florissa's mother posted the video to Facebook and friends and local residents immediately begin to respond that they too have seen the strange UFO. Eyewitness reports in the thread go all the way back to January 1990. So just what could this mysterious flying object be? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Follower Nick Perry says that late one night he was driving down the allegedly haunted Dyers Lane Road in Roseville, California. He says that he saw an ominous dark shadow figure appear in the middle of the road. Nick believes that this dark entity followed him home and says that he now experiences terrifying paranormal activity. So back in 2022, I shared Nick's story on Nuke's Top 5, along with some of the scary footage that he had captured. two years since those videos were recorded, Nick Perry has moved to a new house in a new city, but he believes that the dark entity has followed him. I just got home and uh, as I was walking in, I heard some banging noises in here. So that's why I'm setting up the camera right now to find out, you know, <coughs> what the f it is. Max, shut up. Ain't nobody here. Now it's up against the f***ing wall. Nick decides to leave several cameras recording when he's away from home. When he reviews his footage, he is shocked. Nick says that he's reached out to several churches and religious authorities, but no one has helped him. As of today, Nick says that he continues to experience paranormal events in and around his home. He shares his dark experiences over on his YouTube channel. Mimic Leandro from Buenos Aires, Argentina says that he began to experience strange unexplained events only weeks after moving into his new home. He says that he would often discover that many of his belongings had been inexplicably moved into the house's bathroom. Leandro installed a security camera to see what's been going on. But late one night, he captures something more than he bargained for. It's 
esfuerzos, hijo de puta. Leandro is completely unnerved by the strange paranormal experience. He decides to check into the history of his new home for answers. He is horrified when he discovers that in the 1950s a family of four passed away in a tragic fire on the very same land where his house now sits. Another night and Leandro has his friend Daniel over and once again, it goes sideways. A mysterious white figure can be seen passing by the window just outside Leandro's home. Then the items sitting on the nightstand get launched into the air by an invisible force. And Leandro and his friend Daniel jump up in shock. And now this is when things get really strange. Because Leandro claims that after this incident, the spirit that haunts his house actually began to imitate or mimic the sound of his friend Daniel's voice. Son las 3 de la mañana de nuevo. Y... Esto es lo que yo, con lo que yo convivo desde hace meses. Con esto yo convivo hace meses. Siempre que grabo. Vos no sos Daniel. Vos no sos Daniel, esa no es tu voz. Vos no sos Daniel, esa no es tu voz. Daniel se fue hace meses del país. Vos no sos Daniel. Si querés lastimarme, salí y lastimame ahora. Ya. Déjame de joder. Déjame de joder. Yo así no puedo vivir. Ya no puedo vivir así. Ya no puedo vivir. Yo no tengo más miedo. No tengo más miedo. Leandro says that he's had more than enough of the strange supernatural activity in his new home. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Footprints. A woman named Kat lives in a remote area near the woods in Pennsylvania. One freezing cold morning around 4 a.m., Kat wakes up to find a light dusting of snow covering the ground outside. But then she notices something just outside her back door. Something truly disturbing. Good morning, guys. It is literally 5 a.m. And I opened the back door to put some dry food out for the stray kitties. And there are people feet printed all over my deck in the snow. Do you see this? They start over there. And it like barefoot walks up to the table. There's nothing coming up to the... Maybe there is something coming up to the door. What? And I don't see any in the yard. What is this? I see them kind of coming out of the flower bed. They stop there. I thought maybe they would have walked off through that flower bed, but I don't see anything there. It's like one straight line from out in the yard up to the door, turned around towards the table, and then just stopped moving. That one has like one, two, three, four, like six toes. That's six toes. So is that one. One, two, three, four, five. It is 16 degrees out. I have not gone outside yet. My cat came and woke me up hysterical, probably because there was some barefoot person on the deck. I'm just more concerned about like a mental health crisis because there's no reason to be out there barefoot. Now for obvious reasons, Kat is a bit freaked out, but she's also worried that someone might be experiencing a mental health crisis and is wandering around in the freezing cold with no shoes. She calls the police, but she's reassured that no one has been reported missing or lost. And there have been no reports of trespassers or break-ins in the area. Kat is concerned, but she's done all she can and she just lets it go. 
But almost two weeks later, the mysterious footprints are back. Okay, morning footprint update. <clears throat> Let me show you. This is the first time we've had snow since the initial footprint sighting. Do you see that? They're barefoot again. They're in a different spot than... <clears throat> Look at my shadow. So those prints are in a different spot than when we had prints before. Let's go downstairs. It is seven o'clock. I've been up since 4.30. I didn't look outside. I just came up here and then I opened the window to see if any of the stray cats were coming up to the door yet because I didn't feed them yet. Stay right along the side so I don't interfere. Those are definitely very bare human feet, but there are not six toes on these that I can tell. I don't know. No, no those are very clear toes right there. So the house next door has nobody living in it, so I'm not sure why the prince would be coming from that deck. Happy New Year. Cat purchased two security cameras to monitor the outside of her home, but the mysterious barefoot stranger hasn't returned yet. So could this be something supernatural? Or is it something even scarier? A real person creeping around Cat's house in the middle of the night. Heads up, popular Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long is back, this time investigating an abandoned school in China that is said to be extremely haunted. As his live stream audience watches, Xiaolong begins to hear unexplained noises from somewhere in the building. He's a little on edge as he goes to check out the strange sounds. What happens next is... Just watch. Xiaolong gets the fright of his life because of a plastic statue head. But luckily Xiaolong delivers a good old fashioned slap upside the head to put that statue back in line. But things are about to get a bit more serious and a bit more frightening. As Xiaolong explores deeper into the haunted school, this happens. I'm A small ball inside a classroom rolls across the floor by itself, so Xiaolong chucks it out a window. 
but then the lights hanging from the ceiling come crashing down, almost hitting Xiao Long. Now luckily the ghost hunter made it out safe, but he's not done just yet. Inside one of the school's many rooms, he finds a dirty old mirror. And this is when his exploration takes a terrifying turn. reflection someone can be seen standing behind Xiao Long but when he swings around in terror there's no one there after an attempt at kicking and flailing at the invisible entity Xiao Long finds that the reflection of the figure has disappeared but now he spots a shadowy face peeking in from a window and a heavy closet comes crashing down right in front of him the activity is becoming a little too intense so Xiao Long decides to leave and ends his live stream. You can see even more terrifying moments from this ghost hunt over on the YouTube channel, Outdoor Shaolong. <laughs> 